Hello, it's M the Beginner Crafter and welcome to the first Crochet and Crafts Tube of 2021. I have three projects to show you this time. Uh, two of them I have started uh, some time ago. I started them in uh, 2020 and uh, it's just an, a progress report on those. It's just a progress report on those and one is something new, something that I will be showing you, uh, but it's just the start so not a lot of detail is visible yet. But let's start with the ones that I started earlier. So the first one is the reindeer from uh, box 19 uh, crochet society. So that's a head. I crocheted the head uh, before, so you have seen it uh, already. And I finished the main part of the rain, uh, reindeer. Uh, so this is the neck and the spine, the rump, the legs and the tummy. So I'll have to... Um, fill it or stuff it uh, with the filling and then sew things together and then close the tummy uh, and the body of the reindeer like this. And I've got the ears and the tail. And the tail actually has a longer yarn tail than the tail is long as you can see but I just uh, couldn't be bothered with with cutting it uh, I'll just leave it for sewing things together what I still have left to do are the antlers the nose and a side piece that I know it is in the design but I haven't yet figured out what it is uh, because these are done in this uh, contrasting color and I just wanted to finish main color first. Um, I have to say it's quite tedious to, to, to make uh, all of it. Uh, there's a lot of going back and forth, a lot of counting and the yarn is very splitty. Um, so there were quite a few curses going around. Um, when I was crocheting, uh, especially the, the body of the reindeer, because the uh, head was quite easy, ears and the tail were super easy, but um, the body part and the legs were kind of um, difficult for me. Uh, but I think the end result will be worth it, at least what I can see in uh, the picture, uh, I'm sure it will be worth it, so... Uh, last few efforts. The nose, the antlers, the side piece and then stuff and sew it together. Hopefully next um, crochet and craft tube video I'll be able to show you the finished reindeer. Uh, the second project is the summer 2020 uh, craft pod winter, uh, sorry, not winter, a uh, craft bot zip pouch. Um, before I managed to sew the zip together and then I had no idea what the instructions meant about putting the zip sides in the same direction. And unfortunately I realized what it meant when I got with my sewing all the things together from here to the corner. Then I realized what they meant by it, but it was already too late. I just really didn't want to rip it apart because I had ripped, ripped this part and sewn, sewed it uh, again because I used to sew too close to the border. To the end and it just took me a long time to do that also my muscles hurt a lot when I was sewing that I know probably it's because of the way I hold the fabric together so I just decided too bad it's going to be a mistake uh, I hope it's going to work anyway so I'll leave it at, at that 
So I sewed it around, not fully because uh, this is the space that I need to uh, put it to the right side. And then I cut the corners. So what I can do is, yeah, try to turn it to the right side. So this is what it is, more or less. Uh, okay. And then I'll have to sew this part together. Uh, okay, that's the corner, more or less. And that's the corner. So I have to sew this to close it and then stuff it back into the pouch. And then the pouch will be finished. Let's hope it's going to work in at least some way. I know that it's not perfect, I know that it's not uh, like very evenly uh, sewn together, uh, but I'm learning. So. so I think with the little that I have to do, it, it is kind of uneven. <laughs> So with the little that I have to do, uh, it should be finished also by the next crochet and craft pod, crochet and crafts uh, tube video. And the last thing is my knitting. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, it is for Rose. Um, I was thinking about doing more so that I have actually more to show you, but uh, yesterday when I was trying to do the fifth row, I miscounted and I had to rip everything apart. So I got back to the fourth row and I decided not to do anything, um, not to do more because if I miscount again, I just would have nothing to show you. Uh, this is... Oh, sorry. This is going to be um, a Twisted Roots scarf. And this is what it's going to look like. And that's... With a guy. Um, and... Even though I haven't knitted for I guess 20 years and I've never been good at knitting. I just tried to knit when I was a kid. Um, for some reason I did not think to practice knitting until the day before the mall the make-along started. Even though I had the needles and I had the yarn, I even had the pattern, although to practice you don't need a pattern, I didn't think to practice until the, the night before. Uh, so then I decided to practice and I realized that it's not going great. So I took a few days to practice and then I started doing the shawl. It is 84 stitches wide. So it takes quite a lot of time for me to make the whole row and to count correctly. Uh, I still feel awkward with those needles. Um, as far as I can see, they are a really good size for this width of the shawl uh, because everything fits. Um, it's not, doesn't have to be like squashed together, uh, but it fits without falling easily. But for me, those needles are just too long to feel comfortable. When I started practicing, I was using the cable needle needles. No, not the cable needle needles. Um, those 
joined needles that, that have like a cable uh, between them so that you don't lose any of your stitches uh, but that felt even less comfortable just because this cable was always in my way so I decided to use those needles um, and so far it's going okay um, I haven't lost any stitches which is a big surprise because that was always my main problem when I was stitching um, I can see that some stitches are bigger and some are smaller that's also quite a problem with my stitching uh, but so far it's going okay I hope uh, by next video I'll be able to show you a bit more and you will be able to see at least the start of the pattern right now I can see that there are those uh, beginnings of those kind of roots uh, here and there um, but obviously just because it's four, four rows you can't see all of it uh, going on so I hope I'll be able to show you more but um, I think one row per day is something I can achieve comfortably um, and first I need to learn how to put in a lifeline so that if I make a mistake I can rip only some part of my work and not all of it so that's what I still have to learn how to put in a, a lifeline into the knitted work and then I can do next rows um, and I know that in row 13 uh, you start using those cable needles so the, the needles that you use uh, to make cable work in, uh, in the pattern and that will be also something difficult I think or, or at least weird to me to work but um, I'm pretty sure by the time I make a new video I'll have at least those 12 rows done so three times as much as I have for now so you will be able to see some kind of pattern forming I hope to be able to do more I hope to be able to have those cables also started uh, but we'll see how that goes so far this is the little uh, that I have and I haven't worked on anything else uh, in this time because of uh, the winter break and uh, my mom visited and I'm not um, I don't like to do a lot of new things when my mom is around just because my mom is always complaining that I do a lot of things at the same time and I never finish them and she is quite right uh, it's not really a lie but I don't like when somebody points that out to me so <laughs> I try to avoid doing a lot of things when she's around so I only did those uh, three things that uh, with crochet and with um, the zip pouch you can easily see that it's going to finish pretty soon and uh, with this knitting she is a good knitter knitter she really knits wonderful things and she always has so she kind of encourages me to also learn this craft so with here I was comfortable to do it and she would really give me some great advice about how to do things so this I started um, and hopefully I will be able to finish before the winter ends uh, so that I can actually use it sometime this year um, without having to wait until the next winter. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, if you'd like to make the knitted pattern, uh, the the shawl yourselves, or even join the mall, the mall started on the 6th of January, but as far as I can see, it's not really something that everybody does at the same pace, so you can always join in. 
um, what you have to do is you have to buy this Hapius yarn, uh, the color issue. This is, I think, the newest one, uh, number 10, I believe. Uh, and um, this is the pattern. And for now, this is the only place that the pattern is available. As far as I know, the... <clears throat> Sorry. As far as I know, the uh, magazine is available in English and in Dutch. Um, and yeah, you need to be able to understand the pattern. Um, what I did, because um, I didn't know how to knit, uh, was <coughs> last year when there was another mall. My mom was taking part in it, and my mom doesn't really speak English, so I sort of had to translate things for her. So we would watch a video, because there was a series of videos also available, and the lady would tell what she's doing, and my mom would look at what she's doing, and then she would tell me what it is, and I told her what it says in the pattern, how it is described uh, as a pattern. Um, so that's how I learned those uh, names uh, and from what I can see this pattern is pretty easy uh, because it only uses knits, knitted and purled stitches uh, which in my country they are sort of called right and left stitches um, and there's just a combination of those uh, in the pattern so I think for beginners it's not a bad pattern. I'll just have to see what it looks like when you start doing the cables because that's another needle that you have to use and there's just... <laughs> it's just getting twisted, as the name suggests. So we'll see that later. But if you want to join, buy the, bu buy the bookazine or the magazine. And uh, in the bookazine you get... I think 15 or 16 patterns, some are crochet, some are knitted. Um, so if you can do both crafts, you'll be able to use all of it. If you just do one craft, um, you can only use some of the patterns, I guess. So that's all I have for now. The zip pouch. Almost finished, but not quite. The reindeer partly done and the beginning of the shawl so that's my update uh, for the first week of 2021 if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video you can always put a thumbs down uh, Try leaving a comment why you didn't like the video or why you liked the video, if that's also um, the case. And if you want to see my progress, uh, most of the progress that I will be able to show you will be about this knitted um, scarf. Uh, think about subscribing to my channel and hopefully see you next time. Bye!